to episode 116 of CCW Live. As we're right in the thick of the holiday season, heading towards 2023, a lot of questions still remain to be answered here in CCW. Vinicius is back. When is he going after Ariel Levy? What does the CCW champion have to say about the return of the Brazilian Destroyer? A lot of those questions we hope to answer here on this program and, of course, at upcoming CCW events. Last week, we saw Ashley Dambois become the number one contender once again for Marina Tucker and the CCW Women's Championship. Tonight, Jay Vidal, the third ever CCW Cruiserweight Champion, will put his title on the line as he takes on Cole Carter of the Factory. Will QT Marshall be on the house? How about Nick Camarado? Who's going to be here? We will find out if there's any aid for Cole Carter. Will it be JAI's night? It's coming up right now. Cruiserweight title action from Bash of the Brew 21. They sign with All Elite Wrestling. Part of the Nightmare Factory. And man, is he put together. I question whether or not he's under 200 pounds as he makes his way out here to the ring. Looks to be tipping the scales at at least 220, 230 pounds. Standing just shade over six feet tall. Carter in tremendous condition. Jay Vidal. Vidal will have his hands full tonight. Carter with that nightmare factory and sitting on his tights and on his elbow pads. He is certainly part of that faction. QT Marshall has made it known he wants to collect all the belts here in CCW. champion made his return here to CCW some months ago his first match in against Alan Martinez and he wrested that title from Martinez and has held it and defended it ever since he's looking in great shape tonight as always but now certainly has the fans in his corner here tonight Cole Carter does not seem impressed at all. Referee Adrian Paz holding the ropes open for Jay Vidal. And finally, Vidal takes his way into the ring. Vidal, a very charismatic individual. Carter, a look of pure business on his face. Both men in outstanding shape. This should be quite the contest. Adrian Paz held that title in the air, see the flying it is on the line. I would like to know the weight of Cole Carter. I don't think there's any way he's under 200 pounds. Seems very excited to be checked by referee Adrian Paz, but we'll leave that one alone. But now having a little fun with Paz there, but the bell has rung, and he better be all business as he goes against Cole Carter. Carter, not one to be trifled with, none in the least.
Carter again, part of the Nightmare Factory. Obviously well trained. QT Marshall makes sure all his men spent plenty of time in the ring and are in tip top physical condition. And he wants victory each and every time they go out there. But now, now with a side headlock. Carter looking for the escape. Vidal running into a brick wall known as Cole Carter. Oh! He just slapped the taste out of Carter's mouth and patted him on the head. Oh! And a knife edge chop to the chest. Another stinging blow as Carter tries to create some separation. Out of the way of that one. Vidal out of the way. Connects that time. Nice reversal by Carter. Vidal hanging on. Carter went for the line over the top rope. He goes. Jay Vidal now. Look out. He's got something in mind here. Stone Design, from fabrication to installation of natural stone and quartz. Sick of seeing the same old kitchen? Revamp with us. Call us today or check us out online at BocaStoneDesign.com. Attention wrestling fans, the place to be each and every Tuesday is on the Coastal Championship Wrestling YouTube channel, where a new episode of CCW Alive Wrestling drops at 7 p.m. Witness the hard hitting high-flying action that is synonymous with the longest-running independent wrestling promotion in the southeastern United States. Subscribe today, and don't you dare miss it. Cole 
Carter looking tremendous in his debut here in Coastal Championship Wrestling. The down now, firing back. Underneath that clothesline, connects with the forearm to the side of the head. Cole Carter out of the way of that one, though. Oh, he caught him with that Itzagori right in the face. Both men are down. Adrian Paz administering the count. Both men beginning to stir. Vidal tips up on four, but he looks to be on rubbery legs. Carter back to his feet. Baseman drop kick caught him right in the kneecap. Vidal now with a head of steam. Catches him with a boot to the face. Carter staggers to the corner. Vidal coming across with a clothesline. Connects. Well, Vidal ended up with a suplex, walked the ropes. I'm not sure if that was to an advantage or not. Vidal now to the outside. Signaling he's going to the top. Carter prone in the center of the ring. Vidal on the top rope. Oh, he drops that elbow across the chest. That could do it. One, two. kick out by Cole Carter. Great second effort. Vidal going for that Hurricane Rana. But again, Cole Carter too strong. Beautiful spine buster. Could have him. One, two. Very close to a three count. Carter now with a handful of hair dragging Vidal back to his feet. Looking for that power bomb, I do believe. Oh, he was going for the buckle bomb, but Vidal corrects him in air. Hurricane Ron is in to the corner. Oh, running kick, caught him in the face. That could do it, he's not covering it though. Picks him up. What's Vidal looking for here? Oh, double underhook DDT. Rolls him over. One, two. Oh, kick out by Carter. Unbelievable. What a matchup we're seeing here. As the crowd shows their appreciation. Carter, stirring but not able to get to his feet. Vidal again to the outside. Could he be going to the well one time too many? Carter up to his feet now. Cuts off Vidal. Has him on his shoulders. This could be it. Vidal showing the guts and intestinal fortitude that he possesses. Carter now picking him up. What does he got to do to put this man away? He's got him in the front face lock now. Looks like he's going for it again. Oh, small package. One, two, three. He got him. Vidal, incredibly kicking on his way down, able to cradle Cole Carter, surprise pinfall. Carter can't believe it, wrestling fans, I can't believe it. I thought Vidal's title was in the most jeopardy he's been in since his victory over Martinez some months ago. But I can promise you, we've not seen the last of Cole Carter and CCW. Accidents happen. If you've been injured in an accident, get the compensation you deserve. At GotInjured.com, we're here to help you take your life back. Give us a call or visit us online at GotInjured.com now to learn more. Calling all future stars of professional wrestling. 
The CCW training facility is open in South Florida. If it has always been your dream to enter the squared circle, then the CCW training facility is the first step in making that dream come true. All of our trainees will participate at our live events and be part of our weekly TV show. Classes are forming now for referees, managers, and for male and female wrestlers. Call 954-397-6421 or visit our website at ccwrestlingfl.com and find out how you can make an impact on the pro wrestling scene. Call or click today. Punisher Meadow, cracked ribs, possible concussion, certainly busted him wide open as he shoved him into that corner post. Was supposed to face Meadow here tonight as well. Meadow unable to compete. Geo Steve's taking his place. But Daisy Kill certainly had a plan going into last night. I'm sure he's not. Let's see what he has to say. himself as he goes to his car tonight. Squared circle. Certainly giving away some experience to Geo, excuse me, to Daisy Kill. Ah, from behind. That seems now to be Daisy Kill's specialty. Kill now on Geo Steve's in the corner. 
Nice reversal by Steez. High elevation on the back body drop. Nice hip block takeover by Steez. Underneath that wild punch. Spine buster by Steez. Nicely done. Could have him here. One, two. Wow, what an upset that would have been. Daisy killed with the outside now. Steve needs to stay on him. He's still on the apron. Wait a minute. Here comes the, here comes the Bulgarian Punisher. Spear! Spear! Meadow looking for revenge after last night. Wrapped up. This is you tonight. This is going to be your two weeks in Poland. I challenge you. Let's go! Well, Meadow challenged Daisy Kill to a match in two weeks in Pompano Beach of the CCW Arena for Hardcore Halloween Heaven. Despite the size disadvantage, Jay Vidal successfully retained his Cruiserweight Championship, getting by Cole Carter. We certainly hope you enjoyed this week's episode of CCW Live, as coming up next week, more action from the fall months here in Coastal Championship Wrestling, as we're just a couple of weeks away from 2023. CCW fans, what are your predictions for the new year? Who will upend Ariel Levy and become the new CCW Heavyweight Champion? Or will the international superstar, will his reign continue long into the new year? A lot coming down here in the next couple of months for CCW. Stay tuned as we're going to be all up and down the coast of Florida. And of course, at our second home in Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you for joining us once again. And we'll see you right here next week for episode 117 of CCW Alive. Do you want to be a mark? Or do you want to leave a mark? I'm smarter than the average bear.